Hello again, juniors. Thank you to all of you who watched the video uh, last week. One of the things about YouTube is I'm able to see how many people viewed the video, and I'm also able to see how long those people watched the video. And so one of the things that I saw was that the video was generally only watched for about a minute. So I thought, oh, hey, maybe they see that it's 20 minutes long and they get discouraged. So what I've tried to do here is make shorter videos in order to hopefully get you the information that you need in a shorter amount of time and also hopefully not look as intimidating for you. So this is a first in a set of videos that I've called five things in five minutes. This is five things about the woman warrior in five minutes. The author, Maxine Hong Kingston, is an emeritus professor at the University of California, Berkeley, and as a part of the feminist movement, her works focus heavily on gender and ethnicity. We can see in the excerpt she's against both gender and ethnic stereotypes. The Woman Warrior is a memoir, so a kind of non-fiction text that uses narrative devices to tell a story. So it's all real, but it's told like a story, like a novel, and it's usually taken from the author's memory, which complicates things. Our memories are tricky, and sometimes they're not 100% accurate, especially when it comes to describing what other people were thinking. We have no way of actually knowing what someone else was thinking from one of our memories. For example, in this paragraph, she unbundled a blanket and spread it out to make a bed for herself. On the floor, she had two shopping bags full of canned peaches, real peaches, beans wrapped in taro leaves, cookies, thermos bottles, enough food for everybody. Though only her niece would eat with her. Her bad boy and bad girl were probably sneaking hamburgers, wasting their money. Here, Kingston can describe physical objects from her memory, like the two shopping bags and what they were full of, but the line, her bad boy and bad girl were probably sneaking hamburgers, wasting their money, that's just Kingston using her imagination to try and perceive what her mother may have been thinking. So because of this, and also because Kingston included a lot of references to cultural folk tales that may not be culturally accurate, sometimes she's come under fire by other Asian American writers and critics, ironically for encouraging Asian American stereotypes. It really comes down to two questions. Is Kingston representing all Asian American experiences in her work, or only her own? And should she call her work nonfiction if there are so many subjective fictional elements about it? Focusing on character helps us to figure out people in real life and figure out a little bit about ourselves while also figuring out these characters in the process. There are five ways that we do this, and luckily when they're put together, they spell out the acronym STEAL. S-T-E-A-L. So, I'm not encouraging you to commit theft, but I do hope it helps you to remember how to analyze character. We look at what the characters say, their thoughts when it comes to point of view characters or whose eyes we're seeing the story out of, the character's effect on other characters around them, the character's actions, and lastly, what the character looks like. Number four that I've just described helps us to look at number five, which is character motivations. For example, in this paragraph, how do Brave Orchid's thoughts help us know her and her motivations? Brave Orchid had made two of her own children come too, because they could drive. But they had been lured away by the magazine racks and the gift shops and coffee shops. Her American children could not sit very long. They did not understand sitting. They had wandering feet. She hoped they would get back from the pay TVs or the pay toilets or wherever they were spending their money before the plane arrived. If they did not come back soon, she would go look for them. If her son thought he could hide in the men's room, he was wrong. Again, those are the ways that we can go about looking at character, and I hope those help you to answer the five questions. 